In this video, we're going to look at functions and transformations of functions. So for the sake of this video and, and the examples we're about to do, I'm going to say that we have some function fx, and in this function we know a coordinate uh, that our function will pass through. And let's just say that coordinate is 2, 2. So we know that our function passes through 2, 2, and if we know our function's knowledge, we can also say that f of 2 will therefore equal 2, because x, uh, when f, when x is 2, y is also 2, x and y. So these are the ways you might see it. Okay, so the first type of transformation uh, in, the, in this topic is called a translation. Translation. Now, translation is just a fancy word for shift. So if you see the word translation, you need to be thinking we're going to be shifting our function or a point on our function. Uh, oh, actually, it's going to be all of the points on our functions, but I'm just going to look at this point in particular. We're going to be shifting it left and right or up and down. So horizontal shift and vertical shift. So the way we can actually express uh, our shifts and our translations are f of x. Now I'm going to put a horizontal shift in here. So x minus 2. And what this means is this is a horizontal horizontal translation or shift two units because it's two here and this is actually two units to the right now you might think why is it to the right this is x minus two well with horizontal shifts they're actually the opposite they get shifted the opposite way to what you think it's the opposite to this uh, term in here so this will be two units to the right or you could say two units in the positive x direction. So what that would then mean to our point of interest up here is this point would be shifted two units to the right. So the x would be changed, but the y wouldn't change. There was no, there was no vertical shift there. So the point uh, is going to be 4, 2. The x, uh, was, the x value, which was 2, was shifted two units to the right. So now it's at 4 and the y value didn't change. Okay, what if we did a vertical shift? So this is a vertical shift would be f of x, and for example, plus three. Now notice here that the number that I added or subtracted is now outside of the bracket. And this means that we're actually shifting the y value because fx is actually the same as y. Hopefully if you've been introduced to functions, fx is y. So we're actually adding three to the y value. So this is actually going to be a vertical shift, or we could say a vertical translation, three units up, or three units in the positive y direction. So back at our original point, the x wouldn't have changed because we didn't change the x in the function here, but the y will have three added to it, so now it will be at five because our original y was 2 and we could add 3. Now you can have a question where they have both a horizontal and a vertical translation. For example, x plus 1 and then I'm going to have plus 4. This is the horizontal translation, this is the vertical. So this will have two translations. It'll be a horizontal shift and this will be one unit to the left it's the opposite to what you think so one unit left or the negative x direction and it will have a vertical shift this will be four units up so we've just added four to the y value four units up so if we looked at our original point and we applied this transformation here the x would go from 2 to 1 because it went one unit left. And the y coordinate will go from 2 and we'd need to add 4 so it would go to 6. Okay, so that's what a translation is. That's the first uh, topic of transformations. The next topic is called, uh, they're called stretches. So I'll put this here. Stretch. Now a stretch just like it sounds, we're stretching the function, we're making it skinnier or wider. 
and there's going to be a vertical stretch and a horizontal stretch. So if I had something like this, 3f of x, remember f of x is the y value, so we're actually going to be multiplying every y value by 3. So this is a vertical stretch, and we say by a factor, by a factor of 3. So if I applied my vertical stretch transformation to our original coordinate up there, the x wouldn't change. We didn't affect the x, so that would still be 2, but the, all of the y coordinates will be multiplied by 3. So this would become 6, because 2 times 3 is 6. Okay, now the horizontal stretch is the tricky one. If I had f of, let's say, 2x, notice that the horizontals, which is this one up here and this one up here, they've been changed inside of our bracket where the x's are and the verticals, they're outside of our bracket. This is actually a horizontal stretch, horizontal stretch by a factor and it's not actually 2, it's 1 over whatever this number is. So it's a horizontal stretch by a factor of 1 half. Now that's the tricky one. Now what that will mean to our function up here, or our, our coordinate, is that the x value will be horizontally stretched by a factor of a half, so that 2 will now be multiplied by a half to go to 1, and the y didn't change. Okay, so that's our stretches. And finally, the third component of our transformations that we need to know are reflections. Reflections. And there will be two types of reflections. Uh, we're either going to be reflected in the, in the x-axis, so or the y-axis. So if we have negative f of x, this means that all of our y values are now going to be negative. So they're going to actually be flipped vertically. So it's going to be a reflection in the x-axis. Reflection in the x-axis. And the way I remember this is if I have, for example, a function that looks like this, if I have a negative in front of it, it will look like this. So all of the x values are the same, but all the y values were reflected in the x-axis. So what will happen to our original function of 2, 2, well the x won't change, but the y will go to negative 2. Okay, and finally, the last reflection is in the, get our blue pen, is, will be, you might be able to pick it, let's actually get our blue pen here, it'll be f of negative x, just like the uh, questions before, if it's inside the bracket, all the x values will change. So this is reflecting in the y-axis. So if I had a function that looked like this, it will now go to like this. All of the y values will be the same, but all of the x values changed because we changed inside the bracket. And our function, the x value will turn from positive 2 to negative 2, and the y value wasn't changed. Okay, so that's an example of what happens to a singular point. Uh, these are the expressions that you need to look out for. If you have a x plus or minus inside the bracket, that's a horizontal shift. If you have a plus or minus outside of the bracket, it's a vertical shift, and that could you could have both. A stretch outside of our function is a vertical stretch and inside is a horizontal stretch by 1 over this number, and the two reflections are either vertically in the x-axis or horizontally in the y-axis. Okay, I recommend you try uh, some exam questions, and feel free to watch the videos if you need some help. Good luck.